Hey, it's Coach Mike here at Raw Fitness. Uh, I wanted to talk to you about a really great exercise, a great drill that we use here uh, that is going to help with uh, change of direction uh, in an athlete, in a soccer player. Uh, before I kind of get into the whys behind of everything, uh, I'm going to show you the drill and then I'll kind of give you the importance of it to carry over the sport, which I feel is crucial for athletes to know. And then I'm going to give you some of the critical cues on how to perform it properly. Uh, one of our mottos here is we do simple things savagely well. And so I'm going to teach you how to do the simple drill savagely well so it has carry over to your sport. So the drill looks like this, just to show you a couple. So, okay. <clears throat> so, not sure if I love the camera angle, but that is called diagonal bounding. Okay, it is what is classified as a plyometric drill. Uh, and you noticed what I did was a bound is basically starting on one leg and jumping to the other leg. Now the odds that you're ever going to be in the middle of a match and you're going to see an athlete specifically do that on the field aren't very good. I hope. Okay, but that doesn't mean it's not specific, and I'll tell you why. Uh, if you look at really. Uh, anyone who is effective with the ball at creating space is they are awesome at changing direction. They'll throw a feint, they'll change, they'll create space, they'll change direction and run towards that space. Okay, so if you look at you know some of the more common moves, obviously we see step over, scissors, things like that. So what we have here is we have the athlete coming right, pulling the step over, right? And then from there, this is my concern here, now that we've driven the defender off balance one way, they're going to drive on out of it. And you notice the plane of motion that I'm moving in, right? Scissor move would be a very, very similar thing. They'll come around with the scissor move and then drive on out of it once they've created space into that new direction. So there's a couple things that has to happen. Number one, the kid's got to be good with the ball, right? He's got to have good footwork. It's got to be efficient. It's got to be precise. It's got to be quick. Definitely. After that, all the quickest footwork in the world is really not relevant if the athlete doesn't have enough horsepower to make to take advantage of that space they've just created. And so that's where this drill comes in here. It's, if you notice what I did, I stood on one foot and I explosively jumped as far as I could into a 45 degree angle and then landed on the opposing foot trying to stick the landing. So on one end, I'm working on horsepower, right? Just being able to jump, cover ground, push into that ground more explosively in the exact plane of motion that we see the, we see the player have to use out on the pitch. Most people are only training straight ahead, side to side even, with some lateral movement type stuff. But that's not 100% the way the athlete moves. It's 360 degrees of speed, so we need to train the athlete.